October 30th, St. Alonzo Rodriguez, also known as Alphonsus Rodriguez. He was the third of 11 children in the family of the wealthy wool merchant Diego Rodriguez. He met the Jesuits early on when Blessed Peter Favre stayed with them for a while, and at 14 he was sent to study under the order. But his father died within a year, and Alonso returned home to learn and manage the business. He married Mary Suarez at the age of 26. His business started to decline, and the couple lost two children in infancy, leaving them with one son. His business continued to erode further, and then his wife died, making him a widower in his early thirties. This succession of misfortune turned Alonzo's thoughts to what God might be calling him. He sold the business and moved in with his sisters, who helped raise his son and taught him prayerful meditation. After a few years, his son also died, and dividing all he had left between his sisters and the poor, he applied to the Jesuits. Being forty and not too strong in health, he was refused. With the support of a friend, Father Luis Santander, he put himself through Latin school and was finally accepted in the Jesuit order as a lay brother. He was sent to a college on the island of Majorca where he was made hall porter, a post he held for forty-six years. His duties involved delivering packages, seeing to the lodging of travelers, and dispensing alms to the poor. From this humble post, he influenced many through the years. He was obsessed with the spiritual and given to extreme self-imposed austerities. He also became friends and roommates with St. Peter Claver, whom he advised to request missionary work in South America. Alonso professed his final Jesuit vows at the age of 54. He was reputed to heal by fervent prayer. The night before his death was spent in a visionary ecstasy, He also left behind a collection of manuscripts and journal entries, random thoughts and simple illustrations, musings on things spiritual that are remarkable for their simplicity, sound and correct doctrine, and spiritual understanding. They were published as Spiritual Works of Blessed Alonso Rodriguez in Barcelona in the year 1885. In October 1617, Alonso sensed that his end was at hand. After receiving Holy Communion on October 29th, all pain of mind and body left him. He lay in an unbroken ecstasy until midnight of October 31st, when a terrible agony began. After half an hour, he again became peaceful. Looking around lovingly at his brethren, he kissed the crucifix and cried out, Jesus, then died. He was canonized in the year 1888 along with St. Peter Claver. He wrote in his book of Maxims, In the difficulties which are placed before me, why should I not act like a donkey? When one speaks ill of him, the donkey says nothing. When he is mistreated, he says nothing. When he is forgotten, he says nothing. When no food is given him, he says nothing. When he is made to advance, he says nothing. When he is despised, he says nothing. When he is overburdened, he says nothing. The true servant of God must do likewise, and say with David, Before you I have become like a beast of burden.